Shabbat Shalom family. I'm here to give an update on Revelation 8 prophecy, which is inevitable. Regardless of people not believing it or not, say la vie. However, this is a picture that I took here in Atlanta. And this is not normal. There are lots of people thinking this red sky is normal. It's not. It's a red planet sitting out sitting out there. And right now we're in a debris field of it. And it's not going to be able to hide this fact very very soon because fireballs have been falling across the earth on an increased level of visibility and they're going to get larger and it's going to take the earth off its axis. A lot of people don't want to read the book of Revelation. But the book tells you when you start. If you read it, it will bless you. A lot of people can't understand it because. Those people, it's not meant for them to understand it. Unfortunately. However. You know, it's one thing when I can go and look for information on other people's channels or from, you know, searches online and things like that. But when I can go outside in my neighborhood, well, this is close to my neighborhood, and see the sky is red and unusually red, it's a reality. I'm actually seeing it. They can Kim trail all they want, but they cannot cover up the entire sky. So in this video, I've included video footage from people across the world. I tried to include more, but I didn't get a response from certain people about the location of the red sky. So I think I have enough because... I'm showing red sky in the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere of the world. So here's my video, my, my, my picture and showing that it was, I took the picture on February 25th here in Atlanta in a neighborhood close to mine. So... It would be remiss if I didn't mention this. Now back to the article about the strange red auroras. You've got experts that view auroras all the time whenever they're active, and they've never seen such a consistent pattern of red auroras like they're seeing this year in 2020. After all, it is 2020, but he goes on to say in the article, it's a mystery. Even experts that, that view auroras and give aurora tour guides up in the or near the arctic circle don't really have an explanation as to why they're seeing so many red ones this year and it says here if you have an idea you may submit your explanation or theory and it will be considered or at least looked at and i would like to at least offer a theory 
for whatever it's worth regarding these red auroras that are, uh, in most of the photos I've seen, they're above the green ones, like they're possibly being illuminated by, by the green auroras, which are, are normal. We see the green ones every single year. And like I said earlier, these are always showing up, it seems like, above the, the green auroras. And I want to show you something I noticed over here at the GOES 16. This is a view from last night during the overnight hours. And you're going to notice also on the GOES 16 right here, see that? There's a strange red glow throughout the overnight hours. I don't know if this is a satellite anomaly or if that is, in fact, some sort of light overflow that's occurring or being detected by this particular wavelength of the GOES-16 satellite. I didn't see it on any other ones other than this one here, which is the natural color. That's what we're looking at here. And you can see the, the very intense wildfire in northern Colorado. We'll look at it one more time. Look at that. That's burning right now in Colorado as we do this video during the overnight hours. That was glowing very, very intensely, easily visible from space. There's the red glow once again over at the GO-16. Here's a theory I have. I don't know what that is and don't claim to know. I just happened to notice it on last night's loop. But 2020 has been a record-setting year with regard to wildfires. Here's a view from Lee Vining, California, sent by Wolf H. This is in broad daylight during a very thick outburst of wildfires in Leviting, California, when Wolf happened to be driving through. And as you can see, the daytime sky turned red. That's a side effect of the particulates in the atmosphere. And we also had something else go on this year other than the wildfire smoke. Here's some more wildfire smoke. The atmosphere has been literally pumped full of wildfire smoke for weeks on end. Here's another example of yet a beautiful sunset, but it's red, uh, very red. That's influenced by the wildfire smoke. We've seen dozens, if not hundreds, of examples in photos this year in 2020. Here's a highway cam out of Oregon. You can see bright orange. At times, it's red, almost purple. Once again, that is from wildfire smoke. And we've also had something else this year that's lasted longer than the last couple of years, looking back at least, that I can recall. And that is the Sahara sand that comes off of the west coast of Africa. And you can see it just leaves a trail of, of dust thousands of miles. In fact, it, it's gotten to the point now where it goes all the way around the globe. Thicker in some places, yes, but the green are dust particulates from the Sahara sand. The tans are thicker pockets of the Sahara sand. And this stuff is making its way around the globe. And it's been doing it this year. It starts around June, and it usually lasts until maybe the end of August, September, it's still occurring, and we are in October. So I think the combination of the Sahara sand, here it is in Nebraska. This was back in June before the wildfire started here in the United States. That's Sahara sand visible in Nebraska. Photos sent in by KJ. I've also got photos from all over the place in, in the U.S. Oklahoma, here's one from Oklahoma right there, Marlena, Fort Myers, Florida. Um, see how the sky's got a, a different color to it? Again, this is before the wildfires. Henderson, Tennessee, Belize, and Atlanta. Look at that sky there in Atlanta. So what I think, and this is my theory, I think the combination of all of the wildfire smoke, all of the Sahara sand is accumulating up in the upper layers of the atmosphere of Earth. And you can see here up in the Arctic Circle, there's Sahara sand up there. Not only sand, but wildfire smoke. I've gotten photos from the UK, from Norway, and from Sweden of wildfire smoke from the west coast of the United States that's drifted all the way over here quite easily. So I'm just wondering if there's a layer up above the green auroras, much like we're seeing on the ground at times in the midst of very thick wildfire smoke, I'm wondering if that's what that is. I mean, it's no coincidence that this is the first time a lot of these people are long-time veteran uh, Aurora watchers have never seen anything like this, and we have a year of exceptional wildfire smoke and exceptional Sahara sand. Right there, that's, that's today. The sand is still billowing across the Atlantic, and that's going all around the globe. The green is sand. Like I said, thicker in some places than others, but it still continues to go. So to me, that's just my theory. I think that the red auroras are caused by the combination of wildfire smoke and Sahara sand. There's also a video you can find linked below down in the description box by Black Opal Omniverse, who noticed a huge roll cloud expanding as far as he could see in both directions. This is from Nevada, and you can find this video linked below in the description box. Really a neat uh, perspective of a, a roll cloud on what 
clear blue sky day, but off in the distance, there's a very thick roll cloud. I don't know if that's wildfire smoke or if that's some sort of a, a storm off in the distance, but a good little video there. But for whatever it's worth, guys, the strange red glow that was showing up here, even on the satellite, which I found quite unusual, could it possibly be related to all of the activity we've seen here in 2020? After all, it is 2020, and it seems like pretty much anything goes. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there. Look at this sunset. Look. Okay, I'm driving down a country road. Look. Sorry, someone's headlights. Look how red that is. Okay, now that's how it is with the naked eye, too. Look how red. That's where the sun went down over in the area. Sorry, the streets over there. That's red. Red, baby, red. Look how bright that is. Red. You trying to tell me it's the sun going down? Huh? Huh? Hello? It is so red. I'm driving down this road. I look forward and I was like, oh my god, is a fire coming? Is there fire blazing down my road? My main road to my house. No. It's the freaking sky, people. Hey, that's how it looks in real life. Ready? This is how it looks in real life. Look. Oh, my goodness. I'm risking my life to show you guys this. Look. Red. 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 A red is in the damn stoplight. That's a red light. Bye, guys. September 26, 2020, Bill from Stock and Skies. It's 7.10 p.m. now. Look how red this is. The face is up there. Wow. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. hotter for us tomorrow, the next day, and all next week. Yeah, I wish fall would hurry up and get here. I mean, it's here, but <laughs> not in weather-wise. All right, everyone, thanks for watching Stockton Skies. Look at that.